this morning, so um, you can go ahead and get started if you like. Thank you so much. Um, imagine a 53-year-old woman who injures herself at work and workers' comp is trying to turn down her claim. She has irrevocably, irrevocably lost the use of her left arm, receiving very little in short-term disability and no way to pay rent, utilities, and buy food for herself. She looks up who in Old Hickory can help. She finds Bridgeway Connections, formerly known as Christian Community Outreach, Inc. She comes in and we help her pay the past due amount and give her enough food for at least a couple of days. We continue to work with her for two years while she battles with workman's comp and fights for disability pay. After several denials, she finally receives her disability and is happy to come and let us know that she won't need our assistance anymore. We are all so excited and grateful and feel that a, the little bit that we were able to help made a huge difference in her life and we celebrate with her. These are our clients and this is our work. Of course, it's not always that simple and not always that cut and dry. There are many more stories of complicated lives, rising home costs, wages that are stagnant, fixed incomes and systemic poverty. But first, let me give you some history about us and some stats. Bridgeway Connections has been assisting our neighbors in the 37138 zip code for over 32 years. We are a small local nonprofit providing food, utility assistance, clothing, and diapers. For the past five years, our organization has run an average annual budget of $60,000. With that small amount of money, coupled with being open just 15 hours a week, we have still had a large impact on the lives of those we serve. On average, in those five years, we've spent 35% of our budget on direct financial assistance. This accounts for an average of 199 households with 619 people in it each year, all in Old Hickory. And basically, just so you guys know, our financial assistance breaks down like this. 5% goes to Piedmont Gas, 18% goes to Metro Water, and 77% to NES. The average past due amount we are seeing is $285.85. We have a cap each year that's $150. Our requirements for giving assistance ask that people come in, fill out an application with their income and expenses, the amount being requested from us, and how they will pay their next bill. If we cannot verify that our payment, combined with some other form of payment, can zero out the past due, we are unable to assist. So far in calendar year 2019, in just two months, we've had to deny $4,000 in request for assistance. This is why we're asking <laughs> for some additional money. With the additional money we're asking for, we would be able to help an additional 133 people with their utilities. By helping with utilities, our clients are often then able to pay their rent, allowing them to stay in their current housing. Right now, we're seeing about 70% of our clients who are paying at or above 50% of their income in rent in Old Hickory. Um, and one of the outcomes we're looking for is stability where people aren't transient within our community. Helping families stay in their home, let kids be able to stay in their schools, which helps their educational pursuits and lead to opportunities in the future. Um, also, as part of our financial application process that I stated previously, we require our clients to write out their income and, ex uh, and expenses. Often we're seeing that clients have a lack of budgeting skills, and so in addition to being able to provide assistance to more people and bring stability to our clients, being able to offer budgeting classes is an outcome for the money that we're asking for. Helping our clients learn how to allocate their resources properly so they're not caught off guard when life happens, um, can lead them to self-sufficiency, which is our ultimate outcome. We are looking for people to become self-sufficient so that they don't need us anymore. So why Bridgeway Connections? Um, we do offer a lot of the same services that are offered throughout Nashville. The difference is the proximity to our clients. Many of our clients are without transportation to get to agencies like Metro Action, Needlink, or even the closest Second Harvest location on the days and times they are open. We are in our community, serving our community. As outliers in Davidson County, we want our clients in Old Hickory to have access to the same services available throughout Davidson County. We have been that agency for 32 years and want to thrive until hopefully we are no longer needed one day. Our organization has been helping bring hope to the people of Old Hickory for 32 years, and now we want to be able to go beyond that, giving our clients the opportunity to become stable and then to move beyond stability into self-sufficiency, allowing them a greater chance 
at the success that so many are afforded in our city. Thank you for your consideration and for listening to my remarks. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, someone that receives assistance, um, is that a one and done thing? What is the process there? They can't come back right. six months later and say, I need help again? So they can, <clears throat> if their past due amount is this time is not the 285, it's $69. We can pay their $69 and then we do require them to wait about six months and if they have another past due of like $50 or something like that, we will assist them twice and, or until we meet their cap of $150 per year. Have you ever tried to help connect folks you serve to the um, LIHEAP program? Oh. Are you familiar with that? I do know the term. Anyway, um, okay. Yeah, so that we can kind of connect on yes. right. time. Yes, yeah. right. Okay. Um, I know you mentioned being interested in adding uh, financial literacy mm -hmm. or financial counseling into your programming. Can you talk a little more about um, any curriculum you're going to be using or any partners you might bring in, for sure. example, the Financial Empowerment Center? Um, I, I know that you guys have a Financial <laughs> Empowerment Center, and we have gotten literature from there, and we have referred some of our clients um, to the program, it's just difficult a lot of times for people to get downtown from Old Hickory. So even if we could partner with something like the fin Financial Empowerment Center, but have it come out mm -hmm. to us, it would just mm -hmm. be a lot better. I mean, the other people that we've looked at are people like Dave Ramsey, um, just financial planning things that everybody knows about. Mm -hmm. And I want to follow up on that just sure. because of the, the education component. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really interested in how you track people. Yeah. And, and that's why I ask, you know, do they come back? Yeah. You know, when you, because when you, when you give the one-time assistance, how do you know what's the long-term impact of that? Or are we just right. doing, you know, the immediate, we're just addressing the immediate crisis of the individual or the family? Right. So we are um, <clears throat> part of United Way. <laughs> And so we are in Charity Tracker, which is the database that we use to track all of our information. Um, the organization has been focused primarily on meeting the immediate need for several years. Um, my goal when I took over as executive director was to s not stop meeting the immediate need, but move beyond that. Why are we seeing the same clients over and over? Like, what is the root cause? Are there mm -hmm. other um, agencies or other places that we can refer our clients to to get more substantial help than even we can offer is what we're looking at. But we do track every single time that they come in and what assistance we provide and what the what's happening. Um, we would like to see people <laughs> not come back. Um, there, and since the organization has been around for 32 years, there are people that have been coming in for 32 years. And to me, that, that's not really an acceptable <laughs> thing, which is why I'm trying to make some changes. Okay. That's a great answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> your, your physical space is within United Way? No. We have a building in Old Hickory. Um, we're close to the Green Bridge in Madison <laughs> that connects the two. Um, we're right off the main street. So we have our own space, but it is small. Yeah. Your operating budget is $60,000. Uh-huh. So 20000 yeah. Would, uh, you know, I, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you guys, so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.